Let's start by answering the obvious question. What is malware analysis? Malware analysis is a study of determining the functionality, origin and potential impact of a given malware sample. That is, what it does, where it came from and how much damage can it do. Let's look at the real life example to understand this better. Consider a war scenario between two entities and you are a soldier in one of the two entities. If you see a soldier of the opposite side approaching your territory, what would you do? You would shoot him down. Now let's consider another scenario in which you suspect one of the soldier on your side is actually a spy and working for the enemy. And due to his strange behaviors, you identify him. What do you do now? Do you shoot and kill him? Probably not. Because now you have so many questions that you want answers for. Like, what is his intention? What he knows about us? What is he carrying with him? What has he communicated to the enemy? How did he get in our team in the first place? What are the bigger plans of the enemy? Etc. Similarly, if there is a malware being downloaded from web or being sent from an email, it is blocked and deleted. However, if we notice a malware already inside our network that somehow sneaked into our network, then we want to understand its origin its intentions and the damage it could possibly do. This is done through the process of malware analysis. So what are the goals of malware analysis? The primary goal is to understand the intention of the malware like is it communicating to anyone in the internet? Is it collecting any information from the system or network? Is it encrypting the files? Is it attempting to stop any services? Or is it creating or deleting any files? Is it looking for anything specific like database server or email server? Secondly, malware analysis will help in understanding if the malware is targeted or a commodity malware. Finally, malware analysis will help in improving the defense. Depending on what the malware is targeting, we can step up the security around those servers or applications. At this point, one should understand the difference between malware analysis and handling a malware alert. As a security analyst, we would get malware alerts triggered directly from an antivirus solution or through some suspicious behavior which are typically identified in the form of SIM correlation rules. For example, high CPU utilization, connection to command and control, or scanning by unauthorized host. In these cases, we try to identify the cause of the suspicious behavior through malware alert handling playbooks. This is not the same as malware analysis. In fact, the end result of working on a malware alert could lead to malware analysis.